in the continuation of the previous video we are going to talk about knn k nearest neighbor and in the last video we talked about the definition of knn and how it works we also started doing the python programming on google colab and the details of which is in the previous video in this video we're going to move ahead and learn and complete the knn and learn about confusion matrix so in the last video we got this import libraries and then we mounted the google drive we looked at this file classification dot classification hyphen use dot xlx in the previous linear regression videos we used csv files in this videos in this video we have used xlsx and we got this data wherein you have area price and sold next step as shown in the previous video we defined our x and y and i used iloc for a data frame which is going to take the index 0 and index 1 so 0 is going to be area and 1 is going to be the the price and based on that we have to predict if this house will be sold or not sold and we printed x and y x and y and then we split the data set x train and x test and y train and y test and we had the split we printed x train next because the difference of values between area and price is too large we wanted to do scaling so that the values of both the features are comparable so we used standard scalar from stk sklearn dot preprocessing and then we fit x train and y train to transform and you can see here that x train is done so i'll just run it and you see the values have changed so this is area and price and if you see the values are really comparable next please note that i did it for both train and test now let's use the knn in order to do the knn i have defined a variable as classifier you can define it any variable k neighbors classifier is the library and i'll just go a little bit up scroll and you will see the k neighbors classifier which we have called from sklearn.neighbors i'll scroll down sorry about the scroll i know it can be confusing but here is k neighbors and then we said n neighbors is 17 you can put any odd number so five seven nine and what we what i found with after multiple iterations was the best thing to do was use 17. you can use 15 as well anything odd number will work so and there is a weights that means remember in the last video i talked about the new dot black dot it will take euclidean distance between the nearest 17 members and then weights of those distances between the new dot to the existing dots is uniform that means all the weights of the lines which is representing the distance are same all the weights of the distance are the same right and then i'm going to train it using x train and y train ran the classifier it's trained next i'm going to use or do the predict so remember classifier dot fit and classifier dot predict x text and whatever is the x test output i'm going to store it in y pred very very similar to what i did in linear regression so no changes from there now comes the fun part how do i evaluate the model i predicted the model and i can do a predict print y underscore pred and then uh, i'm just going to write it down as well y underscore pred and i'm also going to print y test you know you would see of course there would be some differences uh, it this model is not 100 percent so you would see that this is this predicted is zero it should be one this is one zero obviously this is the difference here but mostly in all are good 
let's take a look at model evaluation. How do I evaluate that my model is good or not? All right. So for that, I'm going to jump on to explaining before implementing the confusion matrix. Very important in terms of classifier. Remember, if it's a discrete, then we will use confusion matrix. For discrete, for a classification kind of a problem, you would use confusion matrix. What's a confusion matrix? So in confusion matrix, there are two variables we call precision and recall. Now, let's say you have actuals which are listed on the columns and predicted are listed on the row. And let's make a matrix. And that is why we, we name it as matrix. So actuals, positive, negative means positive is 1, negative is 0. And here, positive is 1, negative is 0. The thing which we are trying to achieve is for actuals which are positive, how many predicted are positive? And for actuals which are negative, how many predicted are negative? Let's do that. So let's say true positive, an example, the number 80. So that means there are 80 positives, actual positives, for which my predicted model also says positive, which is 80. However, there are 20 negative, which is actually they are negative, but my model says, no, 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 they are positive, which is incorrect. So this is correct and this is incorrect. Now, for actuals which are positive, my predicted model says 80 of them correctly, but it's not able to predict 40 of them and it says negative, that means zero. Actual is one, but predicted says zero, which is wrong. So both of these are wrong. And this is Actual, it's negative, that means it's zero actually in the data. And my predicted value also, it says zero. That means true negative. So both of these are correctly predicted and both of these are incorrectly predicted. And let's have some arbitrary number just for the explanation purposes. This is just any number which I have given here just for the explanation sake. Now. We, we calculate precision, that means TP, true positive, upon the sum of these two. So, precision is this divided by the sum of both of this. In our case, 80 divided by 80 plus 20, which is 100, which is 0.8. So, we say the precision is... 0.8. So, true positive divided by the addition of true positive and false positive. Next, I'm going to talk about recall. Recall is true positive, true positive divided by the sum of true positive and false negative. This piece is recall. That means how many actuals were predicted correctly and how many total actuals were there. That is recall. So precision and recall. Now let's talk about accuracy. Accuracy means true positive and true negative. All of these which are true divided by the set, the entire set, all four of them. 80 plus 20 plus 60 plus 40. So 80 plus 60 is 140 divided by 200, which is 0.7. So the, your accuracy is 70%. And this is what a confusion matrix is. All right. So let's calculate the confusion matrix for model evaluation. So I'm going to create a confusion matrix using Y test and Y pred. Test is my actuals and pred is my predictions. So you see here, true, this is the matrix true positive true negative false positive false true true negative so that means six and one are incorrect four and seven are correctly predicted 
ideally what you want to do is all the numbers should be in these ones and this diagonal one should be zero and six should be zero let's plot it let's plot it and i don't want you to learn this this is a plotting of variables you can copy and paste this code so just run it for now what it does is it plots area and price together and tells you so this is the word so red dot means zero green dot means one one means sold and zero means not sold now you can see a, a partition this is dark gray and this is light gray ideally what should have happened is all the green dots should be on the light gray side and all the red dots should be on the dark gray side that would have been a perfect model but do we stay in a perfect world we don't so that means if you look at it one two three so i'm counting reds which are on this lower side and i'm going to count greens which are on the upper side so one two three four five six and seven so there are total seven wrong predictions out of which only one green is predicted wrong let's just look at confusion matrix see six plus one seven that means seven values are predicted wrong I'll, I'll 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 repeat it one more time one more time all right so i have this that means i have four values of zeros predicted correctly so let's look at four values so you have one two three four if you look at it closely there are two dots so one two three four so four values of zeros predicted correctly and then six values are predicted incorrectly so six reds one two three four five six that is incorrect then one value of green predicted incorrectly so if you look at it one green dot is on the top side and seven values of green predicted correctly one two three four five six and seven this is what a confusion matrix means i plotted the confusion matrix so is this a good uh, model uh, maybe not the reason is for the red dots i have more wrongs than right if you look at the accuracy accuracy is 10 and 8 so 18 total instances and out of which 11 are predicted correctly so my accuracy is 11 by 18 so my accuracy is around 60 percent 11 by 18 is 60 percent now let's make a small change in the model and you would see how this changes in remember the weights we did uniform i'm going to say change the weights based on the distance that means the closer the dot from the dot which you are predicting remember the first video the previous video the closer the dot the weights is weights is more the weight is more as compared to the dot which is further away let's look at this kind of a model i'm going to run all the steps one more time you look at it predictions are a lot better lot lot better wow so now i have nine predictions correctly one wrong and zero incorrect and eight correct so that means my accuracy is nine plus eight is 17 17 by 18 which is close to 90 percent or even more than 90 percent let's look at the following diagram now if you look at it except for this one red dot everything else is correct and if you look at it compared to the previous graph my graph like the shaded area the regions have changed as well so just by changing a small little parameter distance I am getting a much much greater accuracy now please do some hands-on on top of it and look for k nearest neighbors and see what all parameters can be changed these are two important parameters neighbors but you can also change leaf size metrics 
I won't re recommend to change metrics. Uh, neighbors you can change and weights you can change. So we changed weights from uniform to distance and it works awesome. Thank you for watching.